Okay, I am failing at making this video. This is the third attempt. So I'm making French butter dishes today. And I have a way of doing it that uh, will help you have the top and the bottom fit easily and well. If only I could show you easily on this video. So here I used, to, when I make my French butter dishes, I use the square bat system. And I'm going to show you, don't worry, don't worry, I'm going to show you. So, I have a measuring stick set up here. People have asked me a lot about these measuring sticks here. All this is, <laughs> is high tech. <laughs> All it is, is a piece of clay on the splash pan. And then what I do is all the clay is measured out, so it all weighs the same. I throw the first one, set up my measuring stick, and then the rest are that size. If you're a more anal potter, then you can uh, have a standard size that you make of everything, but I don't do that. I just like to have them be in series, and the first one I make is kind of the standard for the rest of them, unless I don't like the first one I make. And then the second one I make is the standard. So, okay, so now I've got this set up. I have, I'm making the tops first and then the bottoms, okay? It doesn't have to be that way, but that way I can just do one si measuring stick. I call it a signing stick because I sign my pots with the same stick. So, so if I make that mistake, that's just because my measuring stick is my signing stick. Multifunctional. Okay, so round the bottom of the thing, slam it down, center it. Mm, I've developed this style of French butter dish over the years. I think it's the nicest, nicest I've come up with. Flat top, easy to grip like this. Okay, so oh, see what I just did is I split the, I split the donut thing. I split the, the thing, and I pulled out the lit, lit part here. This is the same way that I make coffee cones. If you ever make pour over coffee cones, and I drop the hole for the. For the bowl part, the butterbell part, compress the bottom a little bit, and then just pull that up. Okay, so two pulls. Now this won't go to the rim. It's got a little funk in there, but just leave it for now. Now, one thing that's really important here is that that this lip goes out further than the bowl. So this part down here has to be wider than this pretty significantly because I need room for the bottom and for glaze of the top and the bottom. So make a roundness, finish this off. Got a little piece of dry clay in there. And I use a footer just as a little detail for the rim here. Okay. So the thing I want to show you here is how my signing stick is set up. Here we go. I'm going to show you and I really want it to, you to be able to see this this time. This is the part that I got wrong last time. I want it to be square. So sheesh, I'm going to do my best here. So um, maybe can I flip the camera around? No. I'm going to just move this around a little bit because last time you couldn't see this when I showed it. But basically, if you look straight down from my signing stick, my signing stick is marking the outside edge of this lip here, right? If I'm on a vertical, which I you probably aren't because it's hard to hold the camera that way, but theoretically, actually realistically, this marks the edge of this. So, And this is also taller. I don't know if it's upside down now. I hope it's not. Okay, so it's also taller. Do you see that, how this is taller? Because this is really a measurement for the bottom part, okay? that's. I'm thinking about the future when I'm gonna make the bottom, and the bottom should be, it could be a little bit shorter than this, but it has to be smaller than this. So it's gonna be somewhere where my finger is, right here. So it's gonna, so, so this, why is it so hard for me to explain? I think I'm a more physical person, but um, basically I have my signing stick set up. I'm going to push it down a little bit. I think it got raised, but it's set up so 
that when I throw the bottoms, it's set to throw the bottom. The bottom has to be right about here, right about here. And that way, the inside of the outside of the top piece will fit inside the bottom piece. Ay, this is hard to describe. <sighs> Hopefully that's understandable, at least a little bit. Maybe today's not my day for videos. Anyway, if you can understand that, let me know.